Hello Aquarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading for February 2023 for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. Let's see what we have for you Aquarius for the month of February. I've got two cards. We have Light. Imagine yourself as being composed of energy and light, because in reality, that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. And Aquarius, we have new beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Okay, I'm going to pull you an Archangel Michael card. Let's see what we have for you, Aquarius. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians, please? Message for Aquarius. February 2023. Thank you. I love that. Very Aquarian energy as well. We have number six. Be the real you. Your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. Yeah, Aquarian energy is highly authentic. Okay, let's see what we have as a message, a uh, spirit animal message for you. So what do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. Message for Aquarius. Angel spirits guides. What is the message for Aquarius? Thank you. Thank you. It flipped over. So we have Roadrunner. Keep your sense of humor. Don't take things so seriously. Let's see what we have, Aquarius. What do we have for you? What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. What do we have for Aquarius? February 2023. Message from Spirit. Thank you. Message for Aquarius. Thank you. That flipped out. <laughs> So we have the Four of Wands. Nine of Wands. More Wands energy. The Fool. Bottom of the deck. We have the Strength card. So we have new beginnings here and we have a major new beginning here with the Fool card. The Nine of Wands can be a great card of perseverance and the strength and courage to keep on, keeping on, you know. We want to give up in this energy. This is when it's really darkest just before that dawn comes out, but we don't see that. In fact, we don't realize that actually the end is close in sight of a testing situation. So this can be an energy here, Aquarius, where we have to keep on pushing on, keep on pushing forward. It's the final step that's the hardest, but it does actually bring completion. That final step, one final step, and then you're home dry. That looks like the energy here, Aquarius, and that takes strength. You know, this is, yes, you are strong enough. You are strong enough to see something through connecting to your own inner power, your own inner resolve, inner faith, inner strength. That is the energy here to face something in your external environment that has been extremely testing. And by the looks of it, liberate from it, lighten the load. 
So there is a feeling of one final step here, one final hurdle, one final push. And then we have the four corners of stability and security, celebration. This is happy home, happy family, happy relationship. Um, it can be a, a great energy here of anticipate uh, the anticipation of celebration. But it's that final step that's the hardest. So this is, I know, I know, I know that they're successful, but we're just waiting with bated breath. We have light coming in, which definitely feels here. You're entering a period here and liberating from this situation or will do where you can embrace the light and become your a more authentic version of yourself. Come back to you. So above all, you're being told in this testing time, which can be quite as, you know, when we get tested and tested and tested and it's not been an easy energy and we felt we're going two steps forward and three steps back, you know, all of this kind of thing, it can kind of weigh us down a little bit. So this is that light energy of just remember to take, you know, that, I mean, we have that sense of humor here. Don't take things so seriously. But it's also the energy here of making sure you allow yourself space and time to just indulge, just to go and have fun, just to go and do something silly, just to go and do, you know, it's that light relief um, that you need. Sometimes we just need that escape me mechanism to balance out these energies. And I definitely see that happening for you here, Aquarius. So this definitely feels that something has tested you and it's affected you, your home, your family, your relationship. Now, it could well be within a dynamic itself where you have an opportunity to face a situation head on and overcome it and liberate from it because that's what the strength card does. You deal, you deal with it, you face it head on and then you liberate from it, you know. Um, and we learn from our tests. Our tests actually, this is Saturnian energy. This is our tests actually make us a bigger and better and stronger and more authentic version of who we are. But, you know, it's not always easy to go through that. So this is the energy here of you are evolving. You are growing from this experience. You are strong enough to face it head on. So it could well be some issue that comes up in the home, the family, the relationship even. But an opportunity to overcome it and liberate from it. And say, good, fine, that's done and dusted. Let's just, let's just move in that kind of like brand new chapter now. This also feels here, Aquarius... This could be a health issue that you might have experienced either for you or it could be a family member or, or, you know, love romance. And it could well be this energy here if you've been tested and you needed to have to be strong uh, to keep on going. And the message is that there is celebration here on that path. Similarly, this would be the same message if it was like money, career, finances. You're actually just one step away from liberating from this and opening that brand new door and lightening the load completely, the light is coming in and there is that sense of anticipation in the home, the family, the relationship. So whatever has tested you, the message is just keep on going. You are strong enough and a message that you are stronger than the thing that faces you. Uh, so remember that because that's what the cards are showing. Even though you're tested, even though this person's tired, the card is showing that you are stronger than the thing and more powerful than the thing that faces you. You are bigger than it. And remember that in this process because there is a feeling of overcoming that and moving forward. So I'm actually going to pull you an extra card. <laughs> I don't need to really. The bottom of the deck, I pre-shuffle all the cards. The card of Aquarius, the star card. This is your card in the major, Ar in the major arcana. Hope, faith, reasons to be optimistic. It's about blessings and wish fulfillment, but sometimes we have to have blind faith for a short period of time while we move forward on a path that we don't know the outcome of. But it does look here, Aquarius, that things are looking very hopeful and positive for you. I am going to pull an extra card. Thank you. The Emperor. Now, the emperor can be a decision maker, so very good in terms of business, very good in terms of uh, legal situations even. Uh, this can be somebody who, uh, or it can actually be somebody who is in the family. This can be a father figure as well, 
not limited to that, but the emperor can be those things. Uh, if it's in business or legal situations, this feels like there's real hope here with this person. They are deciding favorably for you. This is a decision that's very favorable for you. That could be in terms of jobs, business opportunities, also very good in terms of legal situations as well. And father energies too. So this would be there's hope with some father energy here. Now, this can also be your energy here, Aquarius. This is about you taking control and taking taking control and having the opportunity to restore order in your situation. A feeling of you're one step away from getting back on solid ground, getting that stability back. And that's what I'm seeing here. There's a feeling of something has tested you, but it's all about bringing order back into your life. And again, that could be somebody making a decision for you in business, in legal situations. It can also be like getting order back in terms of overcoming issues in the home, the family, health issues even. There's a feeling of order being restored. We have the hanged man and the page of wands. Yeah, there's, again, the Nine of Wands, you're one step away, so the Hanged Man doesn't surprise me, waiting. Waiting for a little bit will be on the cards here, but then there's good news. The Page of Wands, good news, joy. Moving forward in a direction where there's potential. And it's quite a light, fresh energy, the Page of Wands, but I feel that this is good news. It feels like the good news that you've been waiting for. is what I have for you. Okay, I'm going to pull. So keep going. That's the energy here. Keep going. Because you can see the way the cards are playing out. The page of wands is the good news. And you can say it can actually be linked with opportunity as well, though it's not limited to that. But it's, this is the message that completes the process. You can see that wand. You can see the nine of wands. It makes ten. There's a completion here. Let's see what we have as a final, uh, let's see what we have as a number card for you, angel number. And this number might resonate with you, Aquarius, so let's see what we have. Yeah, <laughs> we've got number one. Create your own reality through how you choose to speak to yourself. Your angels want you to be aware of your personal truths and beliefs. Are they creating a positive or negative reality for yourself? The number one is all about new beginnings, fresh starts, just the beginnings of a new path or next level or renewed. But there's a strong energy here of whatever you're facing, you're, you have the opportunity to overcome it. There may well be a period of waiting here, but this feeling of real anticipation and getting the four corners of stability and security back into your life it is really pivotal here and that's coming your way. Let's see what we have as an angel message for you. We have your soul has made many journeys, listen to its wisdom. And I'm going to pull you a message from heaven to finish this reading. So what do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? We have changes can bring you new life and energy. We will hold your hand. Okay, Aquarius, that's the message I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful February. I will see you next time.